Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Instructor Allison. In this physics video tutorial on fluid mechanics, we're going to solve this problem. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for always coming through to watch my video, like, uh, sharing it, and dropping comments. Those things are very helpful and they have been helping my channel to grow. And if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. So that when I upload new video, you get notified. And please make sure you share this video and drop a nice comment. It will help me grow my channel. So quickly, let's solve this problem that says a manometer. So before we keep uh, reading through, you need to know what manometer is. And this manometer is an instrument that is used to measure and indicate pressure. It has two types. We have the analog of it and we also have the digital form of it. So this manometer connected to a pipe indicates a negative gauge pressure of 50 millimeter mercury. What is the absolute pressure in the pipe in Newton per meter square if the atmospheric pressure is 1 bar? So it's actually a simple problem that we can be able to fix in one second. So watch along as I'm going to show you how to go about this. But before we get started, we need to state the necessary parameter associated with this, which is always the way I want to go about physics problem. And if you can check holistically from this last line, they say if the atmospheric pressure is one bar in several textbooks, uh, people have a way of representing atmospheric pressure. You can write it like this. Atmosphere. When someone says this, they will know it's atmospheric pressure. That's what it is. And then this is equals 1 bar. And this 1 bar is equivalent to 1 by 10 to the power of 5 newton per meter square so we've already done the conversion already because one bar is equivalent to this so if you have five bar it means five will multiply by this number we have in here so this is the same thing as 10 to the power of five newton per meter square all right if we're able to handle this particular one then check through the equation you will notice that you are asked to find uh, the absolute pressure and there's a formula that connects the absolute pressure with the gauge pressure and also the atmospheric pressure. And that formula is P absolute equals P gauge, that's the gauge pressure, absolute pressure, plus P atmosphere. All right, so this is the formula that connects it. In some cases, you see it written as P A B S. That's the short form for absolute. You see some cases you write P subscript G. That is the gauge pressure. And then some cases you see P A T M. That is the atmospheric pressure. And then sometimes this atmospheric pressure can they can write P subscript not. Uh, this one to gauge pressure I've told you P subscript G this can also be P subscript T and all that is just symbolic representation of this and if you're asked in a certain case to find the gauge pressure you could equally make gauge pressure the subject of the formula by taking the atmospheric uh, pressure to the left hand side but since the scope of this video is for us to find the absolute, absolute pressure then let's see how we make direct substitution Keep in mind that we have been given value for this gauge pressure. That means this formula can still be revamped to be, uh, this time I want to write it in short form like this, to be equal to. This gauge pressure has a lot of parameters associated with it, which is it has the density multiplying by the acceleration due to gravity and also height uh, plus uh, already we have been given this uh, uh, atmospheric pressure so that's why we are repeating it in case we are this one is given and this is not given this formula can still be substituted for this that's how we are going to achieve that so the 
absolute pressure this time will be equal to we have the density of mercury the density of mercury and if you read through the equation they say negative gauge pressure so that is to say we could add a negative sign attached to it even though when we are having the final answer we don't need to reflect it just uh, to interpret the equation this is the formula for the density of mercury and this will multiply by g which is 9.81 and multiplies by we have this to be 50 millimeter mercury so by the time we have 50 millimeter milli is uh, 10 to the power of minus 3 which is the same thing as dividing it by 1000 and this will give you 0 0.05 uh, meter mercury all right since it's given that we have to bring in 0 0.05 we know that it is meter mercury that's here after all we are still talking about pressure and pressure is measured in millimeter mercury apart from pascal that you may know all right so our interest is to make sure that the answer we're having is in newton per meter square or in pascal so that's what we are uh the essence of we making this some of this conversion conversion all right this will add up to the atmospheric pressure was given as one bar which we converted as one times 10 to the power of five keep that in mind so let's use our calculator to check what the whole of this will give us so we have 13.6 times 10 to the power of okay let's leave this 10 to the power of 3 aside and we can replace it with k that's kilo which is uh this uh which is the same thing as 10 to the power of 3 so we have 13.6 times 9.81 times 0 0.05 plus 10 to the power of 5. so the result we have here is approximately 93.33 because we didn't touch this so we change it to kilo and this will be in newton per meter square or you can just put it as kilo pascal all right because this one pascal produces newton per meter square so this is the answer to this problem i hope you found this video helpful please hit the subscribe button like this video turn on the notification bell and please drop a nice comment and share thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bye